Now, as mentioned, large language models in the end are neural networks. And neural networks are in the end just machine learning models, computer programs, you could say, that connect a vast amount of input and calculation nodes organized across multiple layers to then produce an output. Now, there are different kinds of neural networks for different purposes. For example, if you would be training some AI model for working with images, you would often work with so-called convolutional neural networks. But for working with text, the state-of-the-art type of neural networks are so-called transformers or transformer neural networks. Now, the idea behind such a large language model neural network is that in the end you train this network, this model, such that for given inputs, for given text, it produces outputs, words, that produce logically sound sequences of words. And this is done through a very long iterative training process where words are fed in and outputs are then compared to the input words to see if the overall sequence makes sense. Now in case of the GPT 3.5 model, which is one model that is available through ChatGPT, there were more than 170 billion parameters organized across 96 layers used in that neural network to create this GPT model. Now, the exact technical details are definitely not important for this course and not important in order to use ChatGPT. What is important, though, is to simply understand and be aware of the fact that these GPT models are quite complex models that complete sequences of words and predict words based on billions of parameters.